The only way to drive out darkness is to turn on the light. And the only way for people to be set free from fear and immorality and hopelessness is for people to come to know Jesus. Jesus told us that he is the light of the world and as we follow him and do what he does, we too become the light of the world. As we shine the light of Jesus to the world, the darkness fades. Jesus said he would build his church and the gates of hell would not overcome it. That's a powerful church. When a whole church, not just those on stage, know and become like Jesus, we will see Jesus light up a city. For the past 20 years, I've had the privilege of ministering to young people. And for 14 years, Renata and I have got to live out our dream, discipling hundreds of kids and ministering to thousands. But the Lord's added this new dream in our heart to plant a new church in Kansas City. Church expert Timothy Keller says, the only way to guarantee new believers in a city is to plant new churches. Here in Kansas City, there's 2.3 million people. Only 20% claim to have a relationship with Jesus. That means there are still 1.8 million people who need the gospel. We are so committed to joining the wonderful churches already here in Kansas City to love people, serve people, pray for people, and see Jesus exalted here in Kansas City. I see a church filled with so much faith that the prayer meetings are packed and fathers are leading their children in prayer and there's prayer meetings popping up in schools and businesses and homes all over town. So children actually grow up believing that prayer is where the action is. I see a church that worships so passionately that we look forward to Sunday mornings and once we've started declaring who God is, we don't wanna stop. So we fill up our cars and our homes with worship music. I see our kids worshiping Jesus so passionately and so loudly that their voices start to hurt because they've been declaring who Jesus is from the top of their lungs. I see a church that's so committed to making disciples that all over town there are small groups popping up in parks and houses and restaurants and coffee shops as people sit and have conversation about who Jesus is and how to be a disciple of Jesus. I see the lonely finding friendships in those small groups and the addicted being set free and parents intentionally making disciples of their children. I see a church where people are so empowered in ministry that the city doesn't recognize just the names of a few on stage, but the many who shine the light of Jesus all week long. I see a church where people can verbally articulate their spiritual calling and they have a strategic plan to fulfill the call of God on their lives. I see a church that fearlessly proclaims the gospel with our words and with our actions. I see a radiant church that lights up the city.